Hey guys, Yankee here, and today I'm going to be giving my thoughts on episode 2 and 3 of Digimon Ghost Game. Now, the first episode picks up the day after uh, episode 1 ended, so Gammon and Hiro wake up in Hiro's dorm after their fight with Clockmon, um, and we just, for the beginning of it, we just get some, like, kind of slice of life stuff with Hiro and Gammon, where it's mainly sort of Hiro getting him food and sort of um, asking Gammon what a Digimon is and things like that, and Gammon not really knowing. Um, one thing I'll, I like right off the bat is, because this show takes place a little bit in the future, um, and there are like holograms everywhere, Gammon just hangs out, and people see him, and then Hero just, just tells them that he's a hologram, and that's fine, and they just move on. And I like that a lot, because always trying to find a way to hide the Digimon in these shows is always goofy. Um, and I'm glad they found a way around it. Uh, and I, th I think it's nice to just have them out and about. Um, so yeah, the first little bit of episode two is Hiro and Gamamon sort of trying different foods, seeing what Gamamon likes. Um, turns out he really likes chocolate. And then, like, that's about the first, like, maybe third and then the second and third thirds of uh, um, uh, this episode is all about uh, Mummymon, sort of going around bandaging up people and kidnapping them. And he doesn't know really what the digital world is, at least from the way I understood the episode. So I don't know what's happening. We don't know if, or I don't know if, um, like... Are Digimon coming from the digital world? Are they being born here? Because Mummymon didn't seem to really know all that much about um, the digital world. Um, so yeah, Mummymon's going around kidnapping people. Hero is a very proactive protagonist, where he's now he knows sort of Digimon are behind um, the hologram ghosts that people keep talking about. So he's going in and actively investigating. Um, so he hears about uh, a mummy that's kidnapping people, and he goes to the museum who has a big mummy exhibit and just hangs out and tries to find him. Uh, he gets wrapped up, Mummymon kidnaps him, and then sort of Gammon tries to save him. We get our first evolution with a really good evolution sequence, and then we get like a really brief fight, and then we sort of learn uh, Mummymon's motives, where... He's not actually evil. He is, or he's trying to be, a doctor. So he sees that uh, this exhibit in the museum about um, mummification, where, like, and he misunderstood and thinks that that is a way to give humans um, eternal life. So he's kidnapping them, mummifying them, trying to help them. Uh, and he just leaves on good terms at the end of the episode. Um, like, I think Hiro tells him, like, hey, there are hospitals around here. Go there and learn about actual medicine. Um, so I like that a lot. Right off the bat, we're, we're getting something different. Like, episode one, Clockmon is a villain, and they have to fight, and they don't win. And then this second episode, Mummymon's just trying to help. He's confused, and that's it. And they go off. They're on good terms at the end. So we've already got variety there in the villains, and I can't even really call Mummymon a villain. Um, so we'll talk about Gammon's evolution. What is it? Uh, Betel Gammon, I believe. I don't really like it. I think it looks kind of weird. I like Gammon's design a lot, but uh, Betel Gammon doesn't really do it for me. I was hoping that maybe seeing it in animation it would look a bit better, but I still am not a fan. Um, the fight was pretty good, though, even though it was barely a fight, it was just an attack, um, but the evolution sequence, um, the way they sort of reveal him in the episode, even though they'd already spoiled it in the opening, it was good. Uh, and then at the end of this episode, we see, uh, Ruri, the female main character of this show, um, and Hiro and Gamamon see her, and they see a big rabbit, uh, Digimon following her. Uh, and that's the end of episode two. Now, episode three is mainly about Ruri, and the first, like, again, 
first third of this episode is basically just about her. Hiro and Gamawan don't show up until later on. Um, so there is a, another sort of like a ghost story going around where uh, people take pictures, delete them, and then they end up back on their phone with like red scribbles on it. And eventually, whatever got scribbled on, something goes weird with it? I don't really know. This was the episode where... I, I don't really know what the threat was. Like, things are going wrong, but like... I know what the threats are, but they're all different and varied and strange. Um, so there's one girl who apparently her picture had her hair scribbled out. So her hair just grows really long and keeps growing. Um, and then Ruri, our sort of female main character of this season, um, we see that she likes to play piano, and she sees a photo with her, uh, like, her hands scribbled on, and so her hands start basically disappearing, um, and she, like, there's one point where she goes to try and push a piano key, and her finger just sort of goes through. So that's sort of her problem. The first, like, third is her just sort of freaking out. Um, and I think it worked really good, like, this is supposed to be a more horror show, but it's not, like, it's not horror, right? But I think this does a good job of making these Digimon threats seem more, like, impactful? Like, they've, they've done a good job with that throughout the show, like, Clockmon uh, draining people's time away. That looked scary. That's good. Um... Ruri's hands basically disappearing. That's good. And her freaking out about it and trying to figure out something to do. Uh, that works good. And then, about two-thirds of the way in, she gets a message from Hiro, who, again, continues to be proactive. He basically contacts her and says, Hey, we think you're being followed by a Digimon. We can maybe help you. Uh, so they meet. Uh, <laughs> Ruri pretty clearly doesn't believe him or trust him because he immediately starts talking to um, Angoramon, who is the rabbit Digimon that has been, like, following her. And Ruri can't see them, uh, so she just is watching him talk to nothing. Um, and then we sort of get a reveal of who the Digimon is sort of causing these problems. It's Dracumon. Dracmon is how I usually pronounce it and how I see it spelled, um, D-R-A-C-M-O-N, Drachmon. Um, he's like the little, uh, demon guy. I think he was even on the cover of Digimon Dusk, but he is the one doing it. He's going around playing pranks, so I guess that could explain why sort of each person's problem because of him is different. Like, he's watching them and then deciding what to mess with. So, like, for Rory, he knows she plays piano and then he messes up her hands, I guess. Um, so yeah, Dracomon's there, uh, and then it's just sort of a fight, like, uh, yeah, I don't know. This is, this is the weakest of the three episodes I've seen so far, but it's still good. Like, the first, like, half, two-thirds of this episode where it's Rory freaking out, and then Hero and Gamelon showing up to try and help are pretty good. Uh, the stuff with Dracomon and the actual fight are okay. Um, Hero runs home, gets a, another one of his, what are they called, um, is it just the Digivice V? He gets one of those, gives it to Ruri, and has her, um, materialize Angoramon so he can fight. Uh, and it was okay. She used a couple of moves, and, I don't know, it, were, it was okay. Um, and then we get to the end, uh, Angoramon has defeated... Drachmon, he basically, uh, if you know what Drachmon looks like, uh, he's got little eyes on the palms of his hands. He basically, like, pops them out and then just gives them to Hero and says, okay, I won't mess with you anymore, goodbye. And then he leaves, and then we see that he has, he has more uh, on the palms of his hands. And so again, we are three episodes in, and we've got two villains that are going to come back at some point and... Um, the sort of misunderstood Digimon that could come back at some point, too. Uh, I remember before the show started, they were talking about how it was going to be more episodic. And as of right now, it doesn't... F it feels less episodic than some Digimon shows. Like, 
pretty much all Digimon shows start like this, where you just battle a different Digimon every week, and you just carry on. But they've done a good job of, we're not just defeating the Digimon, right? Um, like, in the original Digimon Adventure, we get to um, Agumon evolving into Greymon and defeating Shellmon. And then Shellmon's just gone, from what I remember. Um, and then the second episode, where Garurumon has to fight, or the third episode, where Garurumon has to fight uh, Seedramon. And then it's defeated, and then they move on. So far, Hiro, Gamamon, Rory, and, uh, and Goromon haven't really defeated one of the villains. Um, we had Clockmon basically leave. At, well, he was defeated, but he's not dead, is what I mean, right? Uh, and then Dracomon also got beat by Angoromon and then just took off. So we've got reoccurring char like reoccurring villains already set up. Um, and I'm interested to see when they come back and what they do with them. Um, but yeah, these two episodes have been pretty good. Uh, so far, I'm really liking the show. It's off to a really strong start. And I just hope that they can keep it up. Because it has been really good. And um, go it's like... The more recent Digimon shows that I've watched, the beginning is always kind of a slog, but it doesn't really feel like a slog here. It feels good. Um, so yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.